Israel has distributed leaflets in southern Gaza, urging Palestinian civilians to evacuate for towns on the eastern edge of Khan Yunus. This move has raised concerns that the conflict between Israel and Hamas could spread to previously safe areas. The leaflets warned civilians in Bani Shuhela, Kuzay, Abassan, and al Qarara that being in the vicinity of militants or their positions would put their lives in danger. Thousands of people have already fled from north to south Gaza, seeking shelter in UN-run shelters and family homes in Khan Yunus. The UN's human rights chief, Volker Turk, has warned that the densely populated Palestinian territory is at risk of massive outbreaks of infectious diseases and hunger. He also predicted catastrophic consequences if fuel supplies run out, including the collapse of sewage systems, healthcare, and the already scarce humanitarian aid supplies. In Gaza City, Israeli Defense Forces troops have been searching the underground levels of Al Shifa Hospital and detaining technicians responsible for running its equipment, according to the Hamas run health ministry. The Palestinian Islamic Jihad group, separate from Hamas, has reported fierce clashes with Israeli forces near the hospital complex. The hospital has become a strategic objective for Israel, as it claims there is a Hamas command center in bunkers underneath, which Hamas and hospital staff deny. The IDF has stated that troops are still inside the hospital complex, searching one building at a time. They claim to have found weapons, intelligence material, military technologies and equipment, command and control centers, and communications equipment belonging to Hamas. On Wednesday, Hamas dismissed Israel's claims as lies and propaganda. The conflict has resulted in the displacement of two-thirds of the Gaza Strip's population, with every available space in Khan Yunus and other southern towns overcrowded. The Palestinian health authorities have reported over 11,200 deaths in Gaza, with two-thirds of them being women and children. Another 2,700 people are reported missing, believed to be buried under the rubble. The Israeli army announced the deaths of two more soldiers in Gaza on Thursday, bringing the total number of troops killed in the territory since the start of the war to 50. On Wednesday, three suspected Palestinian assailants opened fire at a checkpoint between Jerusalem and Bethlehem, injuring six security force members before being shot dead by Israeli police.